Welcome in everybody. Today we're doing more random weapon invasions. We got a solo host here, so let's go up and see what he's up to. Beastman's Cleaver. Hello. All right, making a circle. Let's see where this goes. Whoa, you're a bit skippy there, friend. Interesting connection. Still better net code than Lords of the Fallen, though. Yeah, probably good that the bot gave me a weapon where I could just hide for armor and try to attack him through his latency. Okay, never mind. The bot giveth and the bot taketh away. Oh, oh, oh. wait for me. GG's good, sir. Form 5. For those of you that haven't caught my previous video on embracing chaos in invasions, the whole idea behind this bot is to just give me a random weapon every 30 to 60 seconds, which makes invasions much harder because I cannot choose my setup apart from what I have in my inventory. The bot is making these Clean decisions nice for me sword. and they can come at any time, which is the whole point, forcing me to pay extra attention and think on my feet. It's a very fun way to play and if you want more information on it, make sure to check out the video in the description below. Okay, we're in Celia and we got a group of three here, so let's jump right in with the dismounter. Nice parry attempt. Oh wow, didn't think the R2 would hit there. And we're seeing the ritual caller. This might be an issue here. Especially since the mage can just stand back and spam it. And it's a very bad frame trap for me, so let's make some distance. Stone Club. Yeah, I'm wondering how I should approach this. Let's see if we can get the mage here. Oh, okay. That's one down. I gotta watch the bleed here. Yeah, the latency with these two is not the best. Cleaver. Yeah, I was just waiting for a new weapon here to mix things up. Although I don't think the cleaver is a good choice here. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of wild strikes. Still haven't found a use for it yet. Oof, that is rough. I can't believe the Stormcaller gets more Hyper Armor than Wild Strikes. Well, definitely not gonna use that Ash of War again. Yeah, let's get some mobs involved here and try to reset. More attacks. Well, this weapon on the other hand is something I've been really enjoying. Most thinks it's time to summon in blues. Can't blame him. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Now I'm losing my bubble physic. Well, Shit happens, I guess. Oh wow, we got a red. Hello, red. Let's go get him. Oh wait, this way is closed off, so we gotta jump down up here. 
Stone Club. We're back to the Stone Club. Uh, can I drop down here without dying? I think so, right? Alright, sorry folks. I'm back. Claymore. Alright. I mean, if you don't want to roll host, jeez. I feel a trap incoming. Let's go up nonetheless. Stone Club. Oh, great. To swap weapons. Called it. Rolling, 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 rolling. I'm rolling, 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 rolling. And I'm backstabbing. <laughs> GG's. Nice fashion. Nice trap. Get fucked. Actually, it didn't take me that long to program the bot Kaiser. I did a basic version in Ruby in about 30 minutes. And then I have the whole stream when I coded the web application that you can get at dumbbladeofmaya.com uh, in about two to three hours, I think. But yeah, that video is on YouTube, by the way, if you want to check it out. All right, let's try to get these scoobers here. Great bow into Rain of Arrows. Can we get one? Uh, second try. Oh, there goes number one. Oh, I'm out of FP here. Didn't notice. Actually, let me swap the talisman here. Not sure how long I will have to keep the great bow on here. More tabs. All right, this guy surely loves his sword dance. Great spacing on that spinning slash Maya. Phantom is just going to spam Gravitas down there. Catter. Let's get some more blue. Oh, I'm out. Uh, yeah, let's pop a Starlight Shard. Yeah, they have both a bit of latency, but should meet that much of an issue. Gotta watch out that I don't get caught in that sword dance, though. Alright, so much for that. Go get him, buddy. Alright, jeez, that was all Mr. Banish Knight here. I just realized Dragon that the, the running R1 tracking on the Qatar isn't the best, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. And again, amazing spacing from my side on that Ash of War. Yeah, the Badish Knight here carried me. GG, sir. Yeah, it seems like we found the host here in Furumazula that has found a new AFK farming spot. So yeah, let's just kill one or two blues here. Um, at least we get to have a nice 1v1 in a cool spot. I know people hate a lot on AFK farmers, but at least you get the ability to kill a lot of blues during your time in the host's world, so that's a big plus in my book. And you know, you can make this even more fun by incorporating um, trash Godskin weapon into your in inventory, so sometimes I get a flail. Hmm, 
weird connection again here. How is D? Where are you going? No! Bad dragon. Great axe. Yeah, I wonder why people are still bonfire dueling at 125. Don't get it. Anyway, let's try the ball sack here. Bonk. Bonk. And two. Double bonk. GG's. Come fight. See you in the arena. Alright. Iron Cleaver. Ah, oh, goddammit. Fucking knew it. Much man. Oh shoot. That's a bueno. Sick. No. Oh, you lucky bastard. If the moon will do it here. More tax. Uh, where is the warp tax there? We're also trying to be as aggressive as possible. Kind of want to kill the orange, but the moon well is just so annoying. Beastman's Cleaver. Yeah, I should have uh, like parried him ages ago. Sadly, we don't have parries in this. Um, let's see. Can I just like. Um, Take it. 